out eight minutes. Wait, 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 wait. I already did my one mile for the week. Before we open this yep. box, tell me about Earl um, Tech, because I know it means electric, adaptive, reactive, lacing. Excellent. Right. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. Exactly. That just basically describes the tech that's in the shoe. Right. And so there's a lace engine in the shoe okay. and there's an adaptive fit system in it. And so both of those work together to give you an on-demand personalized fit. Right. And you're going to see that when you try it on. See, I'm super, I, I know a lot about sneakers. Like I'm a Nike head. I wear chains that excite the feds. That's a, that's a Nike line. I mean, that's a Nike <laughs> line. Like but um, I don't know much about the tech aspect about it. Yep. So when you first, how did this come about? Like, when did this surface? When did your idea surface? And you and Tinker, when did you guys work on it? Yeah, so the idea originally came 30 years ago when Tinker was um, basically drawing up a concept shoe to go in the movie Back to the Future. And um, after that, they did the movie and everything, and they kind of just thought about it for a little while. Right. Fast forward to 2005, and I started at Nike and met Tinker, and he's got all these petitions of people right. saying, bring that shoe back. Like, we want auto lacing. And so he shows it to me and we started working on it then. And we started working on it, so to put it into the Back to the Future shoe. Mm -hmm. um, and we realized technology just wasn't quite ready. At the time, mm -hmm. the prototype we built, you actually had to plug it into the wall. <laughs> and so you had a really short range. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> you couldn't go too far right. in it. Um, but you could try it on, actually. So uh, fast forward, we kind of hit pause on it for a little while. Fast forward to 2011, 2012 and batteries got better, they could hold more power, they were smaller, motors got faster and stronger, and we had Nike Flyweave at that time just came out, yeah. the Nike ESP shoe, the mm -hmm. Nike Plus shoe with all the sensors in it just came out, and Nike Flywear had been in the market for a while. Right. And all those started to come together with the technology for the lace engine, and it was just like this storm of perfection. Really? And that's when we started building prototypes, running in them, you know, training in them, playing basketball, and realizing that this wasn't about just auto lacing from the film. Right. This was about actual personalized, precise control of a fit system in a shoe that an athlete could just control on the fly, like change at any moment they needed. Now, how many times have, have you tried to like play with this? Like three years, have you this trial and, and error and trial yeah. and error? How long has that been going on? Six, seven years. Yeah, solid six years of just prototyping, trying different things, trying something else, testing it, testing it, you know, just constantly reiterating in that cycle. Man, that is stress. Are there other colorways that come in this? Or there absolutely are. So this one launches tomorrow. Okay. And on uh, right before Christmas, there's a silver colorway. And then maybe you've seen the white colorway. Mm -hmm. Kyrie just mm -hmm. did a video with it. That's yeah. our friends and family, so oh, we're not going to launch that uh, just yet, but... Um, yeah, those are our different colorways for now. And tap into these uh, laces because they are, what are they, parachutes? Yep, we call those okay. parachutes. Very Why good. do they call them parachutes? Um, when Tinker first drew the design to have something crossing that was visual, right. he labeled them parachutes. And okay. the way he kind of drew them looked like kind of like a kite or a parachute. And mm -hmm. so we just kind of stuck with it the whole time. That's super dope. And mm -hmm. from what I heard in the streets, this is just strictly for the streets. Yeah. I heard that you're like, Tinker's protege, <laughs> like you're, you're it. And you were just telling me about how you were working. That was the first shoe that you were working on was the 21s. Yep, that was my first shoe at Nike. I did the airbags that are in the AJ21s, yeah. And tell me about that, how did that feel? Uh, it, was, it was amazing the first time. Like I was, I like I say, I had the Nike glow. It was my first year at Nike. Right. I was just super excited to be working on shoes, let alone for Michael Jordan right. and like performance athletes. The signature Jordan, that's a, that's a that's special shoe big. to work on. Right. Yeah, it's really special. So. And what's your favorite Air Jordan? Oh, my favorite Air Jordan? Mm, I really like the 29. Really? Well, the way I, because I worked on it. Okay, I worked on okay, it. I have okay, a really okay. long history of it. If I if I pick a retro, I have to go with Don't disappoint. You can't disappoint. Well, none of them. I mean, the three, I really like the three. I think it Threes looks really are cool. The best. But my actual first Jordan ever was the 6. That was really? I had it in elementary school when I was playing basketball. You were lit. <laughs> yeah, you uh, were it was super. black and purple. Like I, I loved it. Super <laughs> dope. So let's get to trying on these shoes. Yep. Wow. So, because we know, you know, we know the sneaker collectors, they don't want the sticker on their box. Right. Like, they want a pristine box. So, this is Always. your pristine box. Always. Yep. So then, you open it. Wow. So, 
big protective box, right? Let me tell you what we have in here. We have the pair of shoes. Um, you have your charger, basically to charge a shoe. You have, um, this is one thing, I, I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but this shoe comes with an amazing amount of customer service. Just like you have to make an appointment to come in and experience it. Right. We help you pick out your size. Um, we make sure you know how the entire shoe works and you walk away basically being an expert of how to operate it. This card gives you two keys. One, the manual and a bunch of other information online. And two, a customer service phone number that if you ever have a question, it can be the silliest question ever, it does not right. matter. You call this number, it's dedicated only for HyperAdapt owners right. and they'll help you out immediately. And as far as charging, you have yep. to charge them probably every day if you wear them. You're gonna love this. Oh my God. No, Go ahead. you don't have to charge them every day. day. No! You simply, they take about three hours to charge. Right. And all you do, it's a magnetic puck, sticks to the bottom, like that. You can plug it into the wall with this wall wart or like an external battery pack, like a Mophie. Right. You can charge your shoes also. Here's the best part. They'll last a minimum of two weeks. It depends on how much you adjust them. I've worn them before, wearing them all day long, taking them on and off and adjusting them throughout the day right. for over 10 weeks. Two months, over two months before charging them. What? Yeah. Jeez. So do you feel like charging your shoes, you know, six times a year is a lot to ask? No. And they come fully charged. Um, and the way you can check that is there's two buttons on the shoe, and this is mostly how you interact with the shoe. Okay. Uh, the button's close, close by. It's usually a little in front. You just press it, and that tells you the battery level. Okay. And so when it's blue, it's full. Yellow is about half, and red is, is getting low. You yeah, should get it you charged soon. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's lit. Literally. All right. And all you have to do is literally pull it on your foot, and it's going to do its thing. So if you put a little weight on your heel or even stand up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is like more than trying on a shoe. It's literally an experience. This is really dope. Any of your and other it's shoes? Tightened. And it's comfortable. Like it's like I'm okay, let me just put on this other shoe and then I'm gonna give y'all the tea. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's something different. And yes, I'm super passionate guys, so my excitement is real. Don't judge me. Jesus. And it's perfect. It's like I didn't even have to modify or like change it or say it's too tight. Yeah. That's intentional. That's, that's super intentional. And it's, it's, it's amazing. And it's so, not like we had you in here before or measured your no, foot or... No, there was nothing. We were just shooting it. We were talking. That's all we really did. I this is my first time actually seeing and touching the shoe, so yes, um, super comfortable. It's like I'm standing on pillows, and nothing is uncomfortable with the shoe. Nothing. I can run in these. I can do the heel toe. So it kicks in, fully backs out, and that's actually what resets the sensor. So when you take your foot out. When these lights go off, right. the sensors reset. You. Okay. Yep. I'm going to do some performance stuff, do some basketball, or whatever we're about to do, running, jumping, all the stuff that I'm good at. I try to run when I can, like in the morning. A mile, whole lap. You know, a strong mile, Seven. though. It's a fast one. It's like a... It's, Seven minutes. I was about to say, it's an eight. That's good. Thank you. I have a bounce. Like, I get to bounce when I'm running because I can already feel that I can run in these, especially with my bounce. Yeah, these are really good. How do they feel? They uh, feel, again, I'm really comfortable. My feet are really comfortable. Because we're on camera, so I know you want to show Gotta show out. Yeah. You gotta show off. Right? No, eight is good. Uh, just flatten them up just a little bit. This all feels a little more snug than some of these other things. Sorry. You guys really know what you're doing here at Nike Plus Clubhouse. I won't have to work out for the month. This is amazing. Double Dutch. Easy. What you got?
You catching this, Jeff? Basketball, fifth grade. Let's go. Thank you so much for letting me try on these shoes and try it out for performance. I think this is this is great for technology. I mean, Nike has always been trailblazers when it came to footwear, and for you guys to do tech now, you're like big deal. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? So thank you, Tiffany dear. Thank you. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> trying to keep it cute, and thank you so much yeah, for training sure. me. Anytime. Two, two miles a week now. Two miles. Two miles a week. Yes. We got it. Got it. Hot 7com